school is over and the children are on break, you, the classroom teacher, you're in the classroom, you've pulled down everything that used to be on the walls, you have taken out the furniture, swept, mopped, dusted, so tell out the shells, everything is in order. Then you take a step back and you look at the walls. They are all bare. You know what? Leave them bare. Just do it. It is possible to start a new year, new term with bare walls. Yes, it is. Looking at this room, to some, it is incomplete. Do you know why? Because there's nothing on the wall. The walls can be left bare. Walls can be teaching or learning resource. They can be teaching aids. They can be learning aids as well. Let children take ownership of the classroom, just like you, the teacher or the manager in that room. Whatever you want to put up on the walls, instead of the store-bought market or factory uh, produced wall charts, wall freezes and all whatnot, going up on the walls, filling up the entire classroom walls with all of this before the children arrive, take a step back. Leave the walls bare. Let the children fill those walls with you by putting up their own work. As the children come in, the walls are bare and they begin, you begin to fill those walls up as the children work and they're making progress in learning. Too many stuff on the wall can be distracting to some children, especially those with learning challenges. So you know what? Instead of all those fancy stuff you put up on the walls and fill up the walls entirely with them, why don't you just take a step back and enjoy the process? Let the children's work be attractive to them. Let them take pride in seeing what they're able to provide or produce. Go up on the walls and it should be interactive. For some, the children can even touch those expensive, fancy stuff that you put up on the walls. It's supposed to be home away from home. It is supposed to be a learning environment. It is not supposed to be more of a museum that nobody can touch anything. Think again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, please, and your likes matter to us. Never miss any other part of this series because we still have more. Thank you.